Hey, what is going on, guy? I have great news today, and that's that EZFN has brought back the Discord bot that allowed you to see the player counts across all the servers, which I think is a massive win. As pre just a few days ago, I made a video talking about the issue I think that really was affecting EZFN, where we were losing the ability to see the player count. However, it's back now. So in today's video, we'll talk about what change exactly happened. We'll then talk about why not all the components are coming back based on my conversation with the server admins. And then finally, we'll talk about some tips of using the player count tool. I think not enough of you are using it and it's genuinely a very useful tool. So first off, what exactly changed? Now the three main things I was talking about that we had lost over time was external tools that allow you to see the player count over time, uh, the launcher, total player count, and the Discord bot. And the Discord bot is back, the other two are not. Honestly though, the Discord bot is the most useful of the three by far because you can see the player spread across all the servers. You can derive season four and seven player counts. You can derive NA versus EU player counts. You can get the total off of that. It's just a massive win. I'm really happy to see this. Um, it's just a great benefit as now you'll be able to see exactly how many people are online on each server and make a decision whether it's gonna be worth playing extra that day or not at all or in between. Really great to see. So in conversation with the developers, I found why exactly the other components, which is the third party tools and the total launcher are not coming back. And that's been down to the increased cost of running those tools and high server load was coming from that um, because people were just using it too much and Honestly, the argument does make sense. As long as we have the Discord bot, you don't need those other tools necessarily. And if it's increasing the server load and increasing costs to where they're not able to divert that to other things that are more useful, I think it's overall the right decision. Um, hopefully this issue is just going to be resolved from now on. Uh, if this comes up again and the Discord bot goes down for an extended period, I will make another video talking about this again. But assume that doesn't happen, I think this issue is pretty much done. Overall, though, I have to say is that I know somebody was saying that EZFN might be very hesitant to take feedback on this. And surprisingly, they were pretty open and honest about the conversation. It was really good to see. Overall, it was generally surprising with how willing they were to take feedback and at least have a conversation about, you know, talk about the issue and see where we can come to consensus, which is great. Now, finally, let's talk about using the player account tool. I think it's a seriously underused tool. Um, really, my tips are is that First off, you can obviously derive the total player count from counting up all the servers, but one thing I think you can also do is determine the season four versus season seven player count. Usually, this is not always true, but usually season four will be the EU server with the least number of players. So in the current situation now, there's 246 on EU Germany two, and then 599 EU Germany three, and then 717 EU Germany four. So you can reasonably derive that there's probably about 1200 on season seven. Um, some other tips is try to only play NA when there's enough players or there's only one server. If only Ashburn or only Dallas is up, you'll naturally get a lot more players. The queue will be slower, but it should mean that, you know, everyone's funneled into one server, the player can't win better. Some other things to note is that because season seven only runs on two EU servers now, if it for some reason goes down to only one, you will have very good player counts most likely, but the queue will be extraordinarily slow. It could be 20 minutes to get into a duos game and like 10 minutes to get into solos. You'll just have to wait and see. Some other things, um, season four is not available on NA. Um, in the past, season four was hosted on the Ashburn server, but it's not currently being hosted right now. And one other thing to note is for duos, in general, for season seven EU, you need about 500 players across EU Germany three and four in this case to get enough players to have playable lobbies like 20 plus. And if you get over a thousand, you'll have very good lobbies, like over 40 to 50 plus. So just keep that in mind if you wanna try and play duos. And with that, I hope this video was interesting and I'll catch you in the next one.